Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. After considering to buy one since 2014, I have finally gotten my first ever Nendoroid figure, so I'm excited to check it out with you guys. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel, so make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Of course, it only makes sense that my first Nandere figure was going to be Ariel from The Little Mermaid as she is my favorite Disney princess and Disney character. So the box is really cute. It has all these photos of Ariel's posed in different ways so that you really get an idea of what the figure can do. And her product number is number 836. All right, now let's take her out of the box. First up, I really love the background. It's the little rock where she sings, um, not her, but where Sebastian sings, <laughs> under the sea. And it also comes with an instructional paper, which I'll get into a little bit later. All right, now let's take open up the box and take those pieces out one by one. First we got Ariel herself, then Sebastian, then Flounder, he's so cute. Her extra tail in a seated position. Extra face number one, which is this cheerful look, and extra face number two, where she is not so cheerful. On the back, we do also get a bag of her extra hens as well as her stand. And those are all the things the box comes with. Now let me just take a closer look at the instructional paper so I don't ruin anything when I put them all together. I also missed out on this little dingle hopper during when I was taking everything out. Alright, so a lot of Ariel's pieces are covered in plastic, where it requires me to undo basically all the different segments to remove the plastic, which was a very smart way to actually let the, you know, the buyer knows all the pieces that could come off, because I didn't know the head could come off like that at first. Alright, now I'm trying to assemble the stand, and the stand is really cute, and it's really cool of how articulate it is and how much you can move around. So these clear stands are for Sebastian and Flounder. They go onto these smaller little holes on the bottom. And overall, they pose really nicely and the stand has a lot of dynamic options for you to pose around. And here we have a just an overview look of the figure. And the craftsmanship and the detail is stunning. Like the sculpting details, the paint details, I can't find one miss you know like a little error on the paint job everything is exactly where it's supposed to be it's painted and sculpted beautifully so i'm very very impressed i mean japanese products are always very impressive flounder even got his little uh, thingies on her fins see The only thing that kind of bothers me is the big uh, seam that the hair has for the joint. But it's not that visible from the front. And the stand base have all these holes so that it's very dynamic. You can plot them into different places without having to stick them into one area. And look, even this little extra fin has a articulation. Here is a closer look at her angry little face. She's not very happy. She's probably mad at King Triton for something. But this one, she's very happy. She's like, yes, Eric. And here is just another closer look at the Dingle Harper because I love how detailed it is. It even looks wonky, just like how it was in a movie. I first thought mine was damaged, but I was like, hey, it was just like in the movie too. Now we'll take a look at her um, extra little limbs that she comes with. 
there are a nice variety of hands there are like holding position hands these dainty little princessy hands and i think this one i believe is supposed to be the dingle hopper hand where she can actually hold a little dingle hopper in her hand that is so adorable Alright, now let's try and put her on her extra hands and faces on her and see how she looks like. So you do need to remove the first part of the hair every time you change out her face, obviously. So this is the happy little face. It's very adorable. And her brows are actually like a little bit on the purple shade, which I kind of dig. And right now I'm putting on her little dingle hopper hand and... The articulation also impressed me too on this figure, like the head kind of tilts, not kind of, tilts all the way around, it also spins, also the fin, the waist area can spin a little bit as well, and of course the shoulders and also her fins are articulated. Overall, I'm very impressed by how, how much movement this tiny little figure has. Right, next up we're putting on her little angry face with the seated tail as well, why not? And I think these hands are believed to be the hands that are supposed to hold flounder, but she looks angry holding flounder now, but it's cute. She's probably angry at something and venting at flounder. But my favorite pose has to be this one. Alright, overall, so what do I really think about my first Nandoray figure? I think they are phenomenal. I've always loved them. I think I've always wanted them since 2014 when I started seeing, you know, the Anna and Elsa ones. But I always pull up, put them off because I had so much on my plate to collect. So I'm like, I don't want to branch out into another collectible, you know. But when I saw Ariel, I, I just had to have her. And I'm kind of scared that I may have doomed myself into you know, wanting to collect a different kind of line because after I've gotten Ariel, I've been in love with them so much that I keep on looking up online of other figures and I keep on wanting them. So have I really doomed myself into committing to a different line to collect? Who knows? But right now I'm really content and happy with Ariel and I just definitely recommend it to you if you like these cute shabby anime figures or if you like these, you know, iterations of your favorite Disney characters. You know, if you don't, even if you don't want to collect, commit into a full line just get your favorite disney character or disney princess or it doesn't have to be disney either because i think nendorites there are a lot of anime figures as well from movies and stuff so definitely check it out i recommend it you will not be disappointed because they're fantastic anyways thank you so much for watching uh i'm sorry uh for my voice today i'm a little bit sick but not too serious so don't worry but yeah thank you so much for watching you can also check me out on instagram at shimmy creates for all my toy photography because i'll be definitely be posting a lot of photos of ariel because she is super fun to photograph um if you enjoy this video please thumbs up like subscribe it'll really help out my channel once again thanks so much for watching until the very end and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye